of the sixth inning, Jackson Hornung to start things off. Three, four, and five do up. Hornung, Kavanaugh, and Dossis wind up in the pitch. A little high, one and oh. Well, it's been a great performance from Ryan Donahue so far, and he's out there to try to keep it going. As this is hit up the middle, glove by the shortstop, throw to first in time. One and oh. Excuse me, uh, one out in the inning. Dom Cavanaugh steps in. Cavanaugh 0 for 2 so far today. Wind up and the pitch. A little high there. 2 and 0. Oh. Set to deliver, and he'll get a piece of this one over to right field. That'll get down for a hit. The runner aboard with one out for the sevens. I'll bring up Tyler Dossis to the plate. Dossis, one for two today, had the two RBI single in the first inning. And scored the only two runs of the game for the Sevens. Can he come through again here? Wind up and the pitch. There's a strike. There's a ball, one and one. Set to deliver. And this is up the middle, and it's off the pitcher's glove, and he lost it. And the throw to first, not in time. Everyone's safe. Well, 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 a little momentum for the sevens. Kevin Balowitz do up. Two on and one out for the sevens. And that was certainly some luck there by Doss. This looked like it was gonna be a routine grounder back to the pitcher, but it took an awkward hop and he just straight out lost it. Line up and the pitch, up high. One and oh count. Time called by the hitter. And he steps back in, we're ready to go. Just outside. And the pitch, little high, three and oh. You got two on base, one out. Set to deliver, and there's the walk. Base is loaded for the sevens. Now bring up. Lawrence Tang was due up, but we're going to have a pinch hitter here. It's going to be Connor Kramer stepping in to pinch hit for Tang.
And we're going to get a discussion on the mound here by Medfield. Looks like for now Donahue will stay in the game. But Connor Kramer, the 16-year-old out of Ashland, due up. Bases loaded for the sevens, one out in the inning. Donahue set to deliver. Outside, one and oh. Donahue having a little trouble finding the strike zone since that hit by Dossus. There's a strike, one and one. Set to deliver. And there's a strike two, one and two. Seven still need a play to run to at least tie the game. And Kramer gets a piece of this, but it's foul. One and two. Set to deliver, and this is up the right side, gloved by the first baseman to throw home, and they will get the force out at home. So Kramer reaches on the four to two force out, and it remains a three to two Medfield lead as Mason Dushney will step in. Well, they need Dushney to come through here more than ever. Of course, you still have another inning in the seventh, but you got bases loaded. You'd love to take advantage of it. Donahue set to deal. There's a strike. Yo one. Down low gets by the catcher. Runner from third is going to try to score. The throw is not in time. And we have a tie game. And now another runner coming home. And the seventh take the lead. The throw gets away from Donahue. And two runs score. And the sevens reclaim the lead. Kevin Ballowitz flying all the way from second base to put the sevens on top. And just like that, it's a four to three Ashland lead. Unbelievable. The catcher tried to get the ball back to the pitcher and it squirted out. And another run was able to come around up high. So now, Medfield will be down there Final three outs, next inning. Line up and the pitch, and this is hit in the air, right side, foul territory, and caught. But the Ashland Sevens plate a pair of runs, and they lead it four to three as we head to the top of the seventh on HCAM, WACA-TV and HCAT. Top of the seventh inning, Medfield down to their final three outs. After the sevens played a pair in the bottom of the six, a wild pitch got by the catcher, allowed a run to score, and then a bad throw from the catcher to the pitcher got away, allowing another run to score, but there for a strike. 
It was Tyler Dossis and Kevin Balowitz who ended up coming around. One and one count. Down low. Wind up and the pitch. Fouled away. Set to deliver. And that is going to be a ball, three and two. And there's strike three, got him. Medfield down to their final two outs. Max Goodman will step in. Goodman one for two with a walk. Wide up and the pitch. There's a strike. Oh and one. Leg lift and the pitch. There's strike two. Owen Radcliffe, an opportunity now to Go the complete game and pick up the win if he can get these next two outs. And this is hit in the air over to left field and it's caught by a diving Kevin Balowitz. Two away. Dennis Fullen will step to the plate. What a catch that was by Balowitz in left field. Medfield down to their final out. Line up and the pitch. Up high, one and oh. Radcliffe deals. There's a strike, one and one. That to deliver. Swing and a miss. One and two. Medfield down to their final strike. He winds, he deals, hit in the air, and it's a pop fly and caught by the second baseman. And the Ashland Sevens defeat Medfield by a final score of four to three. What a win by the Ashland Sevens. And they will play at 8 p.m. tomorrow night against the winner of Medfield and Braintree, who will meet up, or excuse me, Medfield and Quincy, who will meet up at 5 o'clock. But the Ashland Sevens doing just enough to grab the win here tonight, improve the 2 and 0 in Final Four play, and advance to the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Championship. A very well pitched game by Owen Radcliffe. He went the distance, giving up just three runs to a very talented midfield team. And some other big contributors, of course, was Tyler Dossis, who had the two RBI single in the first inning, and he scored one of the two runs in the sixth inning to put the sevens ahead. The first run was Tyler Dossis. He scored on a wild pitch, and then a misfire thrown to the plate. Kevin Balowitz came around, and he was able to score the go-ahead run, and the Ashland Sevens move on to the championship round of the Massachusetts Independent Baseball League Final Four as they take down Medfield tonight by a final score of 4-3. to three. For Connor Donovan on camera, I'm Tom Nappy. We thank you for watching Ash Ashland Seven Summer Playoff Baseball, and we look forward to covering the championship round in which we know now for a fact that the Ashland Sevens will be participating in.